Welcome to this WiseAlt video tutorial. In this short session we're going to teach you a bit about how to use the Goal Seek tool in Microsoft Excel. It's a short session so all we're going to do is show you what the Goal Seek tool is and how you use it. So let's get started. So in this spreadsheet we've got a very simple um, revenue forecast if you like um, for a widget shop selling widgets whatever they happen to be um, and we've got a basic calculation in this cell which is going to calculate the revenue we expect to generate if we sell this number of widgets at this price. So the usual idea in Excel when you create calculations is you modify the inputs to see what effect that has on the answer. So if I change the price here of my widgets it's going to immediately update this calculation to reflect the right answer. The idea behind Goal Seek is that it does the opposite of that. It allows you to set the value of the answer by changing one of the inputs. So for this really simple example it's not going to have a great effect but just to demonstrate the principle. To start with you need to select a cell that has a calculation in it. So here we go, we've got this cell selected which multiplies B2 by B3 and once you've done that you need to head to the data tab on the ribbon. In the data tab there should be a section of data tools um, depending on how wide your screen is you might see these buttons slightly more expanded but in there there should be a tool called the what if analysis clicking on the drop down list there provides me three options and the middle one there is goal seek so if I select that option it simply displays the goal seek dialog and there's only ever three options you need to fill in option number one is which cell are you trying to change so which cell has your calculation in it because I already have that selected it's already fed in there for me before now I want to set this cell to a particular value. So let's say I want to make £5,000 of revenue. Let's have in the value 5000 The last option, you need to select a cell which feeds into the calculated result. So this is the cell that the Goal Seek tool will try to change to make this answer 5000 So I've got two approaches here for this particular example. I could ask Excel to tell me what price would I have to sell 1200 widgets at in order to make £5,000? Or I could ask it to tell me how many widgets would I have to sell at that price in order to make £5,000? So I'm going to go for the uh, how many would I have to sell at £2.50. Hopefully it's not too, not too difficult to spot. So I've got these three options. Set cell B4 to a value of 5000 by changing the value in cell B2. All you need to do then is click OK. Fairly rapidly, it's a fairly simple calculation, um, you find that Excel finds an answer. So it's set the target cell to this exact value, the one that I've requested, and it's changed this value in cell B2 to the value of 2000. I've got two choices. I can either click OK, which would accept the changed values and save them in the cell, or I can click Cancel, which will reset things back to their original state. If I try things the opposite way around, what if analysis, goal seek, I'd like to set cell B4 to a value of 5,000, selling 1,200 widgets, so I'd like to change the unit price. Click OK again, and there we go. Apparently I'd have to price my widgets at £4.17 if I'm only going to sell 1,200 of them. So that's how the goal seek tool works in a simple example. So just to prove that the Goal Seek tool works equally well with more complex examples, here we've got a basic mortgage calculator. So there's quite a few different inputs in this particular model. We've got a house price that we can change, we've got a deposit that we can enter, the loan is calculated based on those first two inputs, and then we have manually input the term in years, calculated the term in months, it's fairly straightforward, we've entered the rate our mortgage rate which is usually quoted to you in an annual figure and from that we've calculated the monthly rates and then finally all those values in some way feed into this final calculation which is our monthly payment which is terrifying me just looking at that figure so what we can do with our goal seek tool here is we could ask Excel to tell us what what individual inputs could we change to modify that monthly payment. So let's say for example I knew that for a fact that I could not afford any more than £2,000 a month as a monthly payment. 
we could get Excel to tell us, well, what's the maximum house price you could afford in order to only pay £2,000 a month? Or how much deposit would I have to raise? And so on and so on and so on. So just to reassure you that goal seeking works in slightly more complex situations like this, we're going to quickly take on a couple of those examples. So back to the data tab, what if analysis, goal seek, and I'd like to set cell B9 to a value of £2,000 by changing, first of all, let's see what the maximum house price would be that I could afford. So B2, click OK. Again, even in fairly rapid, uh, even in a fairly complex calculation like this, the, uh, the results are reached quite rapidly. So here we go, we found an exact match for the target value, it's £2,000, and apparently instead of my lovely £500,000 house, I can only afford a £407,000 house. So I'm going to cancel that, I don't like that idea. I want my big fancy £499,950 house. So instead I'm going to ask Excel to tell me, well what if um, I still want to be 9 to be £2,000, but this time I wanted to see how much extra deposit I would need to raise. So I'm going to change cell B3 this time. Click OK. Blimey, doesn't look any better to me. I've got to raise um, £92,000 more than I've already got for my house price deposit. So there you go. There's just a quick example of goal seek in a slightly more complex situation. It still does a very simple job. You can change the result of one single calculation by changing any single cell that feeds into that calculation. But hopefully you'll find that useful. If you've enjoyed this training video, you can find many more online training resources at www.wiseowl.co.uk.